Let us look at alkalines now. A base or an alkaline is a substance that actually reacts with an acid to form salt and water only. Bases form a class of chemical substances which actually includes metal oxides and metal hydroxides. If they are soluble bases, they are called alkalines and alkalines will be metal hydroxides because they form hydro hydroxide ions when it is dissolved in water, the OH- ion. For insoluble bases, they are unable to produce hydro hydroxide ions in water and thus would not cause pH indicators to change colour. Okay? The examples usually are metal oxides. The strength of an alkaline refers to the extent to which the alkaline molecule dissociates or ionizes in an aqueous solution to form ions. If they are strong alkalines, they will completely dissociate in water to produce a very high concentration of hydroxide ions. An example would be sodium hydroxide. It actually completely dissociates to form OH- and Na plus ions. For weak alkalines, they are alkalines that are partially dissociated in water to produce a very low concentration of hydroxide ions. So an example, we have our ammonia. They actually form hydroxide ions and NH4 plus ions, but it's only partially dissociated. Hence, there's this reversible sign, which again indicates that not all of the ammonia molecules dissociate to form your OH- and your NH+, plus and your NH4 plus ions. For the chemical properties of bases, acid plus base, like we mentioned earlier, it will give you salt plus, high, salt plus water. This is your neutralization reaction. Alkalines also react with ammonium salts to give off ammonia gas. So alkaline plus ammonium salt, it will give you the salt plus ammonia gas and water. And this is going to be the chemical test that can be used to confirm the presence of alkaline. Alkaline also react with a solution of a metal salt to give you the metal hydroxide and another metal salt. The physical properties of alkalines include they include having a bitter taste and a soapy feel. Okay, they will turn the red litmus paper to blue. We will use the word damp red litmus paper blue provided we are testing for alkaline gas. They also conduct electricity in aqueous solution due to the abundance of mobile hydroxide ions and cations when it's dissolved in water. Okay. Let's take note of this question here. Plants grow best at a pH value of about 6.5. Okay. If we have to choose between calcium hydroxide, calcium oxide or calcium carbonate, which should be added if the soil is too acidic? Okay. The answer should be calcium carbonate because for calcium oxide and hydroxide, they are bases. So they will actually react with the ammonium salt fertilizer to produce ammonia gas and, um, and the soil will and the soil will be devoid of nitrogen ions. Okay, so that's why we use the carbonate because carbonate will not react with your ammonium salt. But at the same time, it will neutralize the effect of the acidic soil. Okay, alkalines are also used to dissolve dirt and grease as well as to relieve gastric pain. 